So definitely I learned how to research properly and being able to gather different sources throughout the internet or uh, in real life to actually incorporate it within our project. So before Stembility, I had no experience programming in Python, working with APIs, designing user interface and applying project management techniques to my project. I learned um, working with a partner and how to get things done, uh, not by, not individually, but with uh, cooperating with another person. Well, compared to, well, from what, like, what I was really like worried about or nervous about, was like being in front of the camera. And I, was, I wasn't really sure if like my ideas were good or I guess creative. And I was able to actually make something that, that came from my, my own idea and be able to work with like a teammate and be really into what I want to create or like what I believe in. So it was a fun experience. Guys, welcome. This is our first official film session and official first day for the projects. I'm very excited to be here and I hope you guys are too. We went through a lot of work trying to find the right people to participate in this in this web series and you guys were selected. The teams are going to be the following. I'm Brian. I go to Cal Poly Pomona. I'm studying computer science. My name is Dan Beacon. I'm in UCI and undecided on the clear, but I'm trying to transfer to civil engineering. Hi, my name is Ahmed. Um, I go to University of California, Irvine, and my current major is unaffiliated with the School of Physical Science, but I'm leaning towards electrical engineering. My name is Kostov Brad Jadu. I'm a first year computer engineering major at UC Irvine. Sahar is going to give you a quick tour of the place. All right guys, so when we enter this room, this is going to be your maker space. This is your opportunity to create whatever you would like and always think about impactful projects. So let's start. These are the computers that we would like you guys to be using. And then as you break up in teams, you know, you can come here. And then on this side, we have our electronics here. So when you guys come up with your projects and you're ready to build, you could come here and see what we have. Remember, you all will be given a budget. That'll give you some time to think it through and see if you need something else that is critical to what you're creating. Yeah, that's where your creativity will come into great yeah. use. Do you guys have any questions? Not yet? <laughs> Not yet. Now it's time to get to the nitty gritty stuff. You guys need to learn each other. You guys need to know what is the best of each other's strengths and um, learn how to rely on each other. Also, brainstorming, you need to figure out what type of project you guys want to work on together and figure out how you guys could change uh, America today. So let's get started. Um... Okay, so let's start off by exchanging phone I want to do something about global war. This, do you want to write on... The temperature? Or like the yeah, the, the, but does that relate to anything of like civil engineering at all? You think it's so cool? Yeah. Would we have to be using like Raspberry Pis and stuff like that for computing? Can you tell us about yourself? What strengths and weaknesses do you have? So one of my major strengths right now is that I'm very motivated and devoted towards the things I like. Uh, one of my weaknesses is that I'm really self-critical. I'm really judgmental towards my own, my own projects, my own, uh, the things I do. Uh, I'm very passionate about my subject. I like helping people and uh, I like listening to them at the same time. I believe I'm a big, very big procrastinator and a perfectionist and this has influenced my life significantly. Mm, strength, um, I'm really friendly and I like to support other people. Mm -hmm. And my 
weakness is um, I'm pretty nervous with like being on type under pressure, but gonna work on that too. Uh, my strength is that I'm highly motivated and thus um, that could help me advance my project really well. I think my weakness would be how I can articulate my ideals into words where other team members can understand. Hey guys, good morning. How are you? Pretty good. How's, how's your night? Long. Long? <laughs> yeah. Long? Do you get some sleep? Uh, now, this is what you need to kind of work on. Define the scope of your project. So there's three, three parts to it. There's aims, objectives, and outcomes. So for aims, that's kind of like the overall goal of your project. What is the goal of the project, right? If you're creating a watering system, you want to be able to use water more efficiently without wasting any, you know, because we're in a drought, or what, what's the goal? It depends on your project. The objective is, what are the details, okay? The goal is more broad. It's a one-liner. The objectives goes into more detail, into like, okay, what problem am I trying to solve with this project? And then the outcome is, what's going to happen if you guys are successful, okay? So you can say something like, if my project is successful, then people from poor areas in the United States can have clean water. Try to come up with clear ideas. That's the whole point of this. I want you guys to be clear about the projects that you're trying to do. If you're not clear, if you cannot answer these questions, then it's not a good idea to move to the next phase. So basically, all of this is project management, and this is a really good skill that you guys need to develop. And you guys are going to use this skill in, in the real world, so you guys should kind of like learn about this, because you need to apply it in any project. And then, uh, yeah, you guys can get started now. Yeah, any questions? No, no? we're good. Okay, perfect. Good afternoon, guys. Brian, Andy, how are you doing today? Good. How good? are you? Good. Very well. I had a funny night last night. Good night. How are you? Did you dress up? I did. <laughs> well, what were you doing? I was crimp the frog. Oh, oh so fancy. Good. Cute. Yeah, so, cute. <laughs> so, what are you guys working on today? Okay, so like we're thinking of making like a water bottle that calculates like how contaminated the water is and mm -hmm. how much water is inside that bottle and transfer that information in like um, a mobile app. Mobile app? Oh! Mm, yeah. I would think they would have one already by now. No one well, has come like up with an idea like that? Well something, like they have something like that but you have to like input the, you have to guesstimate how much water you're drinking a day. Mm. Okay, awesome. Okay, yeah, we can find yeah, it by that. I, I really enjoy that the voice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, to interrupt. Okay. How are you guys doing? <laughs> good morning. Or good, good afternoon. Morning. Have yeah. a good lunch? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. So what are you guys working on right now? So right now, we're working on uh, developing a mobile application in regards to um, getting healthy dietary options. Okay. So we get a food product, we scan the barcode, and it uh, generates four healthy alternatives. Okay. And the user is able to choose between those alternatives to see what fits between their diet and their uh, food lifestyle. So that way they could generate a healthy standard of living and being able to track their calories. So, um, do you guys think you had a good lunch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Welcome, Kassel. Ahmed, I have a few questions for you guys today. What do you guys accomplish today? So today we were successfully able to define a project and learn the different constraints and parameters that we have to face, as well as the few skills that we need to learn in order to implement our project. Okay. And do you encounter any problems? Some of the problems we encountered was um, learning a new uh, programming language. We're going to have to be looking into that. And uh, we learned that research is very important and it's very time consuming, so we have to keep that in mind. Right. And what did you learn today? So as Ahmed said, research is vital in our project because there might, there's a possibility that there are other competitors out there who share similar ideas. And I also learned that um, 
communication is very key and uh, keeping in touch is what keeps us going forward from here on out. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Welcome, Brian, Danby. Thank you guys for being here. My first question is, what do you accomplish today? Well, today we started off with writing the project definitions. That's where we laid out what our project will produce for humanity and what our outcome will help for people using our product. Okay, great. And do you encounter any difficulties? The difficulties that I've encountered was setting up the schedule and the milestones. For example, I haven't worked with Raspberry Pi, so um, I wouldn't know how long it would take to integrate that into our project. Mm -hmm. And then I ran into like the problem of like the build of materials, where like how to assemble the equipments and like what we need for our project. Okay, and what do you learn today? What I learned today was mainly management of our project and how to conceptualize what needs to get done and just grabbing the bigger scope of the project. What I learned today was able to like expand on my idea and to be able to put together like the project definition and the build of materials. That's great. Well, thank you so much guys and good luck with your project.